video i am discussing five logical reasoning type questions and these type of questions were asked in some of the previous year infosys test the first question is to find the next term in the series 13 24 37 54 and 73 pause the video and try to find the answer this series 13 plus 11 is 24 24 plus 13 is 37 and 37 plus 17 is 54 54 plus 19 is 73 what are these 11 13 17 and 19 they are consecutive prime numbers so what they are doing in this series is that they are adding consecutive prime numbers from 11 to the consecutive numbers in this series what is after 11, 13, 17 and 19? It is 23. So by adding 23 with 73 will give you the answer. Therefore the answer is 73 plus 23 equal to 96. Second question is what is the smallest number that should be multiplied to 54,000 to make it a perfect cube? First we can see what is a perfect cube. A perfect cube is an integer that is equal to some other integer raised to the third power. For example, we can write 27 as 3 into 3 into 3, 125 as 5 into 5 into 5, 64 as 4 into 4 into 4. The number given in this question is 54,000 can be written as 2 into 27 into 10 into 10 into 10. 27 is 3 into 3 into 3 and 10 is 5 into 2. Therefore, 54,000 can be prime factorized as 2 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 5 into 2 into 5 into 2 into 5 into 2. So, let's arrange it and Try to make sets of three equal numbers. For making perfect cube, there are three twos, three threes, and three fives. Here, only one two is remaining without a group. If we multiply one two and one more two, it forms a group of three numbers. Therefore, we are multiplying 2 into 2 equal to 4 with 54,000. 4 is the smallest number that should be multiplied to 54,000 to make it a perfect cube. Now, we can solve a question of perfect square instead of perfect cube. The question is, what is the smallest number that should be multiplied to 16,000 to make it a perfect square? A perfect square is a number that can be expressed as the product of two equal integers. For example, 4 is a perfect square and it can be written as 2 into 2. 16 is a perfect square and it can be written as 4 into 4. Here, the number given is 16,000. It can be written as 4 into 4 into 10 into 10 into 10. 4 can be written as 2 into 2 and 10 can be written as 2 into 5. We should prime factorize 16,000 and arrange it to make sets of two equal numbers. Here, we are left with a single 2 and a single 5. If we multiply with a 2 and 5, we get a pair each. To make 16,000 a perfect square, we have to multiply it with 2 into 5 equal to 10. Next is a question from Coding Deductive Logic. If apple is coded as 69942, Orange is coded as 356712 and mango is coded as 86713. What will be the code for melon? When we look at this, we come to know that for each particular alphabet, one number is assigned. That is, for A, it is 6, E, it is 2, and for N, it is 7, G, it is 1, and O, it is 3. This 
is a very simple question to solve. So we need to find the code for melon. The answer is for M it is 8, for E it is 2, for L it is 4, O it is 3, N it is 7. The answer is A2437. If you have any doubt regarding these answers, you can ask in the comment section below. The last question is, if the father of the son of the professor and the son of the father of the professor fight and the professor did not fight, then who fought? The question seems little confusing, right? We can solve this question if we consider the professor as a female. The first part is the father of the son of the professor. It is her husband. The second part is the son of the father of the professor. Who will be the son of the professor's father? It will be her brother. Therefore, the answer is husband and brother. Hope you guys like the video. If so, please subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Thank you for watching.